Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at question 855, exam room. The way we'll be approaching this problem is by using an array list, and this array list will keep a track of all of the seats uh, that we've added, but we'll keep we'll try to keep all of the seats uh, that are assigned in order, um, and we'll take it from there. Uh, it's a lot easier to jump into the problem and talk through it as I'm coding it, so let's jump right in. Um, so we have an array list that keeps a track of all the seats, so let's just initialize that. And you just initialize n to be equal to n. Awesome. So let's handle the seat method. So what basically this um, this means is that where are you going to be assigning a seat to a particular student? So let's cover the base case first. So if the start size if it is equal to zero, you would just say um, list dot add zero return zero. So what exactly are you doing here? You're, you know that nothing has been assigned as of here, and the reason why you know that is because you're checking the list. Nothing has been assigned. You just add the first person <clears throat> to index zero, which is seed zero, and then you would just return zero. Awesome. The next thing you need to do is to actually get the distance between um, all of the uh, elements and try to get the maximum distance as possible. So what we'll do is let's just initialize distance to be equal to zero, right? And what we do is we go through all of the indices in the list and see which has a maximum distance. So size uh, minus one, I plus plus, so here you'll check um, distance is equal to mod.max of zero and list dot, dot get i plus one um, minus list dot get i and you divide this by two. So basically what you're trying to say is that, hey, these are the two points that exist already. So this is uh, this is the first point, this is the second point. What is the maximum distance between that? And you divide that by two and you'll update the distance after. So once you have the maximum distance, the other thing that you need to do is actually calculate this as well. So you need to assign C, the, the seats to zero and then N minus one in the beginning, right? But there's a possibility that you have the students who are sitting at seat zero and N minus one have been removed, right? So using those possibilities, we need to calculate the distance between that as well. So it would be distance would be equal to mat dot max of distance. And uh, mat dot max of zero, uh, sorry, so uh, list.get zero minus zero. So what does this imply? This implies that if um, if the first C that has been occupied is not zero, so basically you're trying to get the first uh, index, so the, the smallest C that's possible and subtract that by zero because that's where you can add the first C. Um, but if it's occupied already, you'll just get this as zero and the distance will still remain intact because you're taking the max. And you need to do that with the, uh, the end value as well. So it'd be n minus one, a minus list dot get, uh, list dot size minus one. So that's the last element. Awesome, so let's just make sure that the brackets make sense, awesome. So uh, let's just walk through that again. So basically looking at all of the elements in the list and checking, hey, what's the maximum distance that we can possibly add? And then you're checking for the base cases as well. In case it hasn't been, nobody sitting in the zero side, you want to make sure um, that is updated if it is a max distance uh, or uh, n minus one minus list dot get, like basically you're looking at the left side and the right side and making sure those distances are taken into consideration as well. And once you have that, why? Okay. So th the next thing that you need to check is that if the distance that's given to us, if list.get of zero 
is equal to distance. This is like a corner case that we're handling. So it means that, hey, you know what? The distance is actually given to us is equal to the first element that's in the list. So basically what this means is that there's only like, like one element in the list and that seat has been added in the n like n minus one position. So that's the reason why the distance and the first element are the same. So at that time, what you'll say is this dot, you'll add a seat in the first position. So basically you're adding it on the zeroth position and then you'll say return zero. So this is like a corner case that you're handling. So basically it means that uh, you have two students come in, one student is assigned at the seat zero, the other student is assigned at n minus one and the person who leaves um, first is the one and zero with seat. So there's only n minus one left, right? And there's another student that comes in, but they need to be assigned to seat zero. So that's that case is being handled right here. And the next thing you need to do is actually like uh, figure out where to put um, the person if these conditions are not met, like this condition is not met, right? So we'll do a for loop again. So for and I, I just copy this. Right, so this would be let's just call this int current current distance. Wait, uh, awesome. So if current distance is equal to distance, that means we have found the value that we actually care about, then you'd add. The values there so you would say um, uh, you have you know where you want to add it so you would do this dot add i plus one that's the index where you'll be adding it and the value that you'll be adding is actually this but you actually instead of subtracting you're adding it so the reason why you're changing that is is because you want to place them in the middle of these two indices, right? You want to place them in the middle of these two indices. That's why you're adding it instead of subtracting it. And the place you want to add it is um, i plus one because i is the value that's less than um, what we need. But i plus one is actually where we're placing uh, the person. So that's why you're adding it at that index. And I think I made a mistake here. Yeah. Okay, so that's good. And this is good. Okay, so awesome. So you add that and then you return um, let's start get um, I plus one. Awesome. So after all of this, if nothing has been added, right? If nothing has been added to any of the middles, you know, you just have to add that to the end. So you would just say uh, let's start add n minus one, and you would just return n minus one. I think my formatting is off because I haven't taken care of all of the, the brackets properly. Let me just double check that. All right, here. Does this make sense? Yeah, okay, I think it should be good now. This is covered, this is good. This is good. Okay, awesome. So that takes care of the seating issue. And then the leave issue, right? So what do you need to do? You just need to remove it. So you need to do, uh, but because we can't access it directly, you actually need to go through um, all of the values. Let's just copy the for loop. Um, and then you say, if, uh, let's not get, if i equals p, then you would just uh, let's start remove um, I. And I think that's it. Yeah, awesome. Okay, so let's try compile this, uh, compiling this and see if it's okay. Where did I do? Of course, uh, let's start add. Uh, let's try that again. These values look okay. Let's try submitting it. Uh, seven. So basically, expected there are some values that 
shouldn't be zero, but R zero. So let's think about that a little bit. Okay, let's walk through this. So if the size is equal to zero, you would add zero and you would return it. So initially the distance is zero. Um, let's just move this here. So you're not really assigning a value to that. So you do that here. And then this is erased. And then you don't even need this. So basically it would just be this and this and minus one. So this dot gets zero, minus zero, that's fine. That's also fine. So for the loop, entire equals zero, I less than, then minus one. Well, that's fine. Distance equal to max of, oh, right, this. Distance and that particular value. And, okay, actually let's, Let's try that. Did that, it wasn't the only problem. Oh, I see, okay, so that was the only problem, awesome. So if you have any questions for me, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video, I would really appreciate that. It definitely motivates me to make more videos. If there are any questions on LeetCode that you would like me to solve, let me know in the comments below. Uh, thanks so much. Oh wait, let's talk about the space and the time complexity, right? The time complexity of the entire solution is of n. Um, since you are going through the entire list to actually figure out which is um, and the best place to place it. And even for leave, it's also the same. It's O of n since you have to iterate through the entire list. Uh, the space complexity is O of n since you are using an array list to store all the values. Awesome. Um, thanks so much. Uh, 